hello guys, it's me again, Sparkfinger. Oh, once again, I think I might be on a streak, I might be on a wave, and today I'm making another video. Today we are going to check out one of the most underrated AI-powered dynamic storytellers. You know, just like AI Dungeon. It's powered by AI, it can generate text, and you can play it as if it was an adventure game. Today we're checking out Cobalt AI. It's been around for a few months now, almost half a year. And it's honestly one of the most underrated. And it's free. You can basically literally can't pay for it. Today we're going to... And about a month ago, it's been updated with a lot of cool, really new updates. And most importantly, it's been much... It's been made much easier to play. Uh, you know, back in the day, it required you to navigate Google Collab, links and such. And, well, it still requires you to do that, but... Basically, it's much more simple. There are all the arrows that direct you direct you where, where you're supposed to go and basically it's much easier to play right now okay let's read some news so guys now we are here on cobalt AI reddit and here's the post that came out a month ago i was really excited but back then i wasn't i wasn't really back to making videos again so let's let's cover cover it briefly cobalt ai 0.16 the biggest update yet made by the cobalt AI community okay those of you especially the ones in discord playing paying close attention you will have noticed a few community members have been hard at work improving Cobalt AI in a version known as Cobalt AI United. Now we finally consider it ready for the wider audience, so I am proud to present to you the official release of Cobalt AI 0.16. Small change in the number, big changes in Cobalt AI. Okay, and first, first is the most interesting part. Adventure mode by VE underscore for Brydern. Hmm, I wonder if it's... Pro yeah, okay, you can correct me, tell me how I pronounce it. I'm supposed to pronounce. Adventure mode is finally here for the models that have been trained to be played like AI Dungeon. This means you can get the same experience of suggesting to AI what should happen and it automatically doing something based on what you said rather than you writing the exact actions yourself. This is the most fun part about AI Dungeon. It basically requires minimal input for input from you. You know, basically you go home and then AI Dungeon would describe what happened on the way home. Yep. And which, which is one of the most attractive points of AI Dungeon. It's it's really a relaxing experience, if you know what I mean. It can be anyway. This mode enables an extra button that allows you to toggle between do and story input, and it will also prevent the AI from doing actions on your behalf. It also changes the formatting of the page slightly so that your actions stand out. Oh yes, important. One important difference for the AI dungeon place is that is the way you interact with the AI as Cobalt AI gives you more freedom and requires a slightly different input. Since AI Dungeon assumes that you are doing every action, while Cobalt AI expects a sentence that lets you control any character. Oh yeah, so below are two examples of the same input. One for AI Dungeon and one for Cobalt AI. AI Dungeon input grab sword and attack dragon, yeah grab bucket. Cobalt AI input when it's you, you grab the sword and attack the dragon. And when it's someone else, Jack enters the room and slays the dragon with a heroic strike. Oh yeah, and actually I've been playing AI Dungeon with more than one character recently as well, I just use the little arrow key. Uh, to you know ma make an action for someone else so let's say arrow key and it it reads it uniquely it doesn't just read it like a story context it treats it like an action in ai dungeon well we'll see here as well here are some more interesting stuff editing overhaul interesting random story generator oh that's that's really great when you want to start a new story sometimes you just you you don't feel a lot of inspiration but you want to see something new and it's great when you have something random to start from yeah, I actually already generated a story, we'll get to it. For the models that feature very specific story themes, you can now have stories automatically generated. This is our alternative to AI Dungeons category menu. Story themes and quality will depend on the model you choose, how well it understands the genre you put in and the settings you are running Cobalt AI with. Going higher than our default temp temperature of 0.5 can result into this feature being very unreliable. So it might produce something really too random, let's say. During our testing runs on the adventure versions, it has generated some amazing adventures such as Area 51 Emergency, Big Mutated Lab Rats, Eternals, Experimenting on Humans, oh yeah, Eternals, we met Eternals before, didn't we? Detectives with tele Telepathy and more, but with anything the AI does, it can take a few tries, so do not use the re retry button for this. Instead, use the feature again in the menu, so yeah. Oh, well, very simple. Collab Cabold integration and remote play by Hank717. Yeah, he, he did a very good job. It's much e much easier to play right now. I was I didn't have to press as many buttons to get to Cobalt AI to play it again. Improve multiplayer support. Yeah, this game actually features multiplayer. It's the only game besides the AI Dungeon that has multiplayer. Basically, you get a link that you're supposed to 
to play in and you can send it to your friend and play with him and actually we sort of played it together on one of our streams earlier during the summer and we sort of played together i played it on stream and hank himself put in a couple of funny surprises it was a lot of fun yeah speaking of remote play well not yet perfect we made big steps to allowing a better multiplayer experience most of the things you do in the ui will now be synchronized to other people who have the link not every part of the ui is suitable for this especially world information should not be edited by multiple people at the same time it will only show correctly after it has been submitted but it's a very b big improvement over 0 0.15 in terms of how well multiplayer works your friends will automatically see the changes when you are changing the story they, are, they will be able to choose from the multiple story options and of course the AI and all of its features themselves. Everything works if you take turns to do it. So yeah, when you're playing with your friend, it's very important that you talk to them in a separate chat possibly. So it's exactly like in D&D, you can't all go together, you have to take turns. And ideally have a separate guy as a as a sort of a game master along, alongside the, the AI itself, visual. So the game master will, you know, help correct the AI outputs break model integration yeah this is for the guys who who are really who really into you know trying different models you know i heard that the, the same company that created jacks is going to release a new 22 billion model which is going to be mo more powerful it's going to be the second most powerful model to open ai dragon but still sort of far from 175 billion and yeah this break model integration it it's for the people who are really into tech stuff who have a very powerful pc i only have eight gig gigabytes of vram but honestly my pc hasn't been behaving quite nicely lately but and i i'm not i don't think i'm ready to try to run it on my pc so yeah let's keep going model configurations here yeah, we can try different models i in the story that i'm going to play next i chose a I chose a 6 billion jacks adventure model, the one the, that's the new thing in this update, more smaller changes. If you really want, you can come back here and read it for yourself. I, I hope I won't forget to put it all in, in description. The near future of Cobalt AI development. I hope everyone is as excited about Cobalt AI release as we are, as that it allows people who previously found the games too hard, too hard or unstable to use to have a much better experience. Yeah, I think I might have been one of those people guilty. 0.16 marked the point we considered what we were building stable enough for a wider audience, but it does not mark the end of everything. We're hoping to do. You know, it's really astonishing that those guys are just working on enthusiasm. You know, as, a, as an enthusiast myself, as a man who lives his life mostly by impulse, by things I want to do, I, I can't imagine just being able to stick to something for so long. There are very few things that I stuck with from my enthusiasm, and that's that's really impressive that someone can can go ahead and just do it out of out of sheer out of sheer you know artfulness out of sheer desire to create something to be inspired by something i know that inspires me as well if anyone wants to take part in this development the development will now take place at two separate locations for the time being official cobalt AI version will be used as the stable version for the public this is where the collabs are linked to yeah you can choose different versions in the collab link and where people can expect a functional game as a result we will only submit bug fixes to this version or smaller features if it is really urgent that people have them quicker, such as introducing support for new models. For work towards the new features, we have been using a branch of Cobalt AI call, called Cobalt AI United, which you can find on my GitHub. Yeah, GitHub is a really interesting place. I mean, for me, it's kind of hard to navigate. Too many letters, I'm just saying. Ah, I'm kidding. This version is the one used for active development, can change quite rapidly. Once it hits a point that we consider it good enough, it will become the 0.17 version. So if you're submitting anything except a bug fix or a small feature, it's best to submit this to the United branch. Yeah, basically a new branch. If you're interested in developing for Cobalt AI, we ask you to join the Discord. Yeah, I didn't even know there was a Discord, I just joined it. Since all the discussions and coordinations happen there. This will help you get your features integrated smoothly and it's also a good place to get feedback from the players and other developers. Click here for Cobalt AI information, download links and ways to play. Oh yeah, and you can read the rest as well. I'm looking forward to seeing your stories here on Reddit and hope everyone had a lot of fun using Cobalt AI. Hank717, yeah, good, good guy. Okay, let's move to the next page. Here we are in the GitHub. Yeah, I didn't spend too much time reading this. Obviously, uh, this is basically the instructions for what you can do. I just went here and pressed this button, GPT J6B Adventure Jax. Click here to open the recommender. I clicked one of these buttons anyway. Okay, and I went here. Yeah, close this. Yeah, I chose the 6B version by VE for Brightern. 
And yeah, here it's very simple. Apparently you can play it on mobile as well. So you can put press this button, I pressed this one. And it generated a lot of stuff. You, It took roughly 20 minutes for me. It doesn't depend on uh, the power of your PC. It's it's all done remotely on Google servers. And yeah, you're in the you're supposed at some point you will get get a link that you're supposed to click, you'll get a special password and put it in here, and then you'll wait a little bit and you'll finally get the link. Kind of funny link. There we go, yeah. I got a link right here, handbags once nutritional format dot tri tricloudflare.com. I think that's a randomized link, and it's funny, handbags once nutritional format. Yeah, this is a unique link, from what I understand, that you're supposed to get, that you can share with your friends and play together. Great stuff. And here it is, finally, Cobalt AI client. I generated a new story. I I might have been a little weird. I I thought of myself, well, maybe I should play fantasy, but fantasy is kind of boring. Maybe I could play dark fantasy. And then I put the word violence in the genre. So let's, let's read through what happens. The story seems to take place from the third-person point of view. Yeah, finally, this is the story. I should really put a put a mark there in my video. A young man and a woman were walking down the street when they saw a drunk man who was staggering towards them. They saw they thought he might be in need of help, so they called out to him, asking if he needed any assistance. He did not reply, but instead glared them at them with hatred before spitting on the ground at their feet. The two young people begin began to feel frightened by this his behavior, but then the drunk man reached into his pocket and pulled out a pistol. Yes, because the genre of the story is violence. As he pointed at the two, the young man felt his heart leap into his throat as he realized that he would die. However, the drunk man pulled the trigger and the bullet hit the young man right between the eyes. Yeah, funny that it's however. Okay, let's let's use the do option. Okay, where is it? You watch as the drunk man runs away, leaving the dead body behind. You are horrified and cry for the young man's mother and father. The police arrive soon after. You tell them everything that happened. They arrest the drunk man and take him to prison. You are taken to the hospital, where you have an operation to remove the bullet from your brain. So I guess I was the young man after all. Oh yes. Take him to prison. Okay. You know, I was thinking I could try to create another, a new story. New story, random story. Yeah, this one had, had the word violence in the genre. Let's use the fantasy genre. Very simple. Like Star Wars. You know? Oh, a young man and a woman are walking through a forest. The woman is carrying a basket full of food, while her companion carries a sword on his back. As they walk, they come across a bear cub in distress. The woman decides to help the poor beast, beast by feeding it some of her food and petting it gently. Okay, let's put the, the memory in something. You are a young man. You are a John... John, a young man. Okay, let's... This should be sufficiently nice. Oh, well, look at these different things, eh? Yes, by the way, it it managed to remember that I had a story. It managed to save one of the stories I had before. Okay, let's say desk descriptive author's note. Let's say writing style descriptive. One of my favorite. Very simple and it works well very well. It sort of slows down the pace. The pace of the stories. Descriptive. Okay. Descriptive. I'm not... Okay. Submit. Okay, let's see what happens. You look at the bear cub. You look at the bear cub. Oh, do you... It looks hungry. You wonder if you should help it. Do you decide to help the bear? It's up to you. Set, select an option. You give the bear some food. You ask the girl to help you kill the bear. You run away. You tell the girl about the bear. Okay, let's say you choose two. Two. Choose option two. It's the funniest one, I'm sorry. You ask the girl to help. The bear seems happy with your help. He follows you around as you go home. You choose option two. Hmm. Okay, let's retry. It doesn't seem that consistent right now. The bear looks even more hungry now. What do you do? You can't just leave the bear here. Okay. I guess you're supposed to put in... Okay, let's say, you say to the girl, it's a dangerous thing right here. Thing right here. What if the mama bear comes? Bear comes, she's gonna kill us. 
He's gonna kill us. Oh no. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you. Well, that's kind of funny. One of the options. Okay. Say to the girl, it's a dangerous thing right here. What if the mama bear comes? She's gonna kill us. But we have to do something. No, no, the thing could be dangerous for us. Look, I'm not asking you to do this. But if I don't get rid of that bear, then who will? I'll help you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see what happens next. You kick the bear, so it falls. I'm sorry, I'm... So it falls down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This, this is just a little too funny for me. I had coffee a little bit again. I gotta finish it. Then you, rust and f and you run as fast as you can while the girl follows you with the food. You both escape safely. The moral of the story is, well, you killed the bear, and now nobody will ever know what happened here. One day you will die. Your life will end, just like all other lives do. Yeah, that's what I keep telling myself every day. Every second of my existence. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm over-exaggerating. So, okay, this is a really funny story. I can't get over it. I mean, it's it's actually funny. I'm not kidding. Maybe I should, maybe I should actually post it on the Cobble Day Reddit. You know, before I even post this video to, to give everyone a little surprise, you know? So yeah, I think this has been enough. This has been another impromptu video. I can't believe I'm making another video on the second day after after yesterday, after I covered some of Novel AI. By the way, another Novel AI video coming very soon. I hope you're sticking with me because... Because honestly, I'm sorry I'm not putting as much effort into making these videos anymore. I mean, I could... I have a couple ideas. By the way, I released a little music album, a little short extended play. Maybe I'll maybe I'll post it too. I have a couple ideas for videos about music, you know, a kind of a Sabaton par parody video because I think Sabaton's a little overrated. You know, the, the metal band. I like him, but I think they're overrated. Okay. So this is it. We checked out Cobalt AI. I hope you guys really enjoyed it because I really enjoyed the stories. And I really enjoyed it. It was so easy for me to run Cobalt AI today. And I, I don't I don't think I'll I'll even need to edit out this video too much. Because, you know, when I watch videos, I watch them on double speed. I hope you... Yep. I mean... Oh, yeah. Let's read it. But before this, that happens, you'll find peace. Oh, man, that's really soothing. Peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in your soul, peace in your body, and peace in your grave. You will find peace. I really need peace in my body. Because, you know, sometimes your nervous system winds up too much. You can feel it everywhere in your body. And on your tombstone, you can write, John was a good person, but he did bad. <laughs> oh, man, that's a little too relatable. I'm sorry. He tried to do good, but, had, but ended up doing bad. You know, just like Walter White. No, no, Walter White didn't try to do good things. He wanted to be a good guy, but he didn't. Okay, this is it for now, guys. Here's a really funny, funny story in the end here. I really should separate the video in separate parts. Here, news and a little, little bit of gameplay. So, yeah. Uh, bye for now, guys. Hopefully see you once again next time. I hope... I hope I can continue this streak because I kind of feel more inspired once again. I'll continue making those videos. Until until next time, bye for now, guys. <clears throat> bye for now, guys. All right.